This is the five minute e bike kit installation demo by Lead Bicycle Solutions. First, you're going to take your bike, you're going to flip it upside down. You can do this on any bike. This is a used bike I bought off Craigslist for $50, oh, it was $50 in Monterey. Take off your old wheel, you don't need that anymore. And grab your new wheel. This is the wheel that comes with the kit. I already pumped up the tire. I think you know how to pump up a tire, so I didn't need to show you how to do that. And you put it on. Now you've got two bolts, one on each end. And those bolts are going to snugly fit right on there. Now there's that metal piece you can see that's got a top head, and that is the tricky piece sometimes to get in. But you just got to work with it and make sure it's facing up if you have your bicycle upside down or facing down if your bicycle is not upside down. And then go ahead and make sure both sides are in and then go ahead and make them snug with your hand. Once they're snug, grab a 3 8 wrench, pop it on there, and I like to do a full twist or half a twist on each one before uh, cranking it down a little more. Now you don't want to do it too tight because you need it to be able to spin. And so what you want to do is just do it just tight enough to where you don't have to use much strength. So I like to say just snug, no tighter, don't, don't use any muscle. Put your wrench away. And here I'm trying to figure out what to do next. Remembering I'm done, I'm flipping it over. Throw my kickstand down. And now you're gonna to want to uh, install the cables this is the controller that you're going to hook up to the planetary motor hub on the front. This is a brushless hub. It comes with a two-year warranty. It will probably outlast your vehicle. These things don't need any maintenance. They're completely sealed proof. They're amazing. Okay, so go ahead and hook these two cords up, these cables up together. Bring it up. This is my wife's bike, so she uses a basket. It's not what I use. We have our frame bag we give you or the uh, seat post bag. We also give you that goes right behind your seat. You can use either one of those. But my wife prefers the basket. So we're putting the battery now, connecting it to the cable. It's an easy fit. You just pop it in, female onto the male, and then you screw it tight to make it watertight. And there's an on switch on the battery. So just flip that on switch to on. Put it in your bag, and now I've got zip ties, and you take your zip ties and you just simply tie them to the front fork, one below the connection and one above the connection. You don't have to do them too tight, as long as they're tight enough just to keep the, the cable there from dinking around. I don't even know if that's a word. Anyway, continue doing your zip ties. I put three on the lower fork, and, uh, and then I'll do a couple more here up top. I don't know if you noticed, but the trigger, the pressure trigger that we use, I've put it on the right side of the handlebar. You can go either right side or left side. And one thing I love about our pressure button that we use is it's you can move it around. So you can put it on one of your knuckles as you're riding, or you can move it more towards the palm of your hand if you just want to put it on your palm. Or you can move it over to where your thumb's using it like a, a little thumb trigger. It's up to you. You have the freedom to move it around. A lot of different kits that I've seen come with a a uh, a switch that goes completely on your on your handlebar. And you have to take the whole handlebars apart to put them on. I don't like those. I just like this simple pressure gauge. And then go ahead and trim your zip ties. So they're not hanging all over. You can see that one's pretty loose. That one can be tighter, either way. And now you are ready to take the camera off the front tire. <laughs> I don't recommend doing that. But it was good for the demo. And now you're ready to test it out. Pick it up. And give it a whirl. There you go. 250 watts, 24 volts here. And you're all done. Appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoy your kit. Thank you.